a Red Locks introduce the team and then we'll go into the interesting part of today discussing what is agile what are trends in agile why do we want to discuss this right i'm pretty sure a lot of people here are curious about they've either heard about it or maybe they work in a team and they heard agile um and they want to know more about it they've probably heard about how great a career it is and how much money you can make um and the fact that it gives you work-life balance, let's be honest, that's really why we follow careers, right? The career has to make sense. It's got to give us, it's got to check out all the boxes for us, right? We'll talk about trends in Agile. Why, why is Agile growing in demand? And then we'll talk about career progression in Scrum. If you start today, what does it look for you five years, 10 years, 15 years down the line? And then I have some fantastic professionals, project managers, scrum masters who will be here so that you're not only listening to me, right? Like, don't only take my word for it. I have a fantastic panel here who I know personally, and they're doing great in their career. They're going to um, answer your questions. And then we'll talk about how to become a scrum master and a bit of Q&A, and then we'll close. Sounds good? So um, just in the chat section, as I'm talking about, about us, can you in the chat let us know where you are joining us from in the world? Where are you exactly joining us from today? In the chat, let us know. Canada, America, UK, where exactly are you, you joining us from today? Put it in the chat. Let's rep your city. We have Ifoma from Nigeria. We got someone from Canada, Ontario, my Ontario people, Canada in the building, more Canadians. I know we had someone from the UK before. Where else are you joining us from today? Okay, so keep it coming. Let's know where you are joining us from uh, so that you can rep your city, rep your city in the chat. So, who is Redlock? So we are a company that is dedicated to providing high quality, agile and master training programs that help individuals and organizations adopt and implement agile methodology successfully. I'm sure people are like, oh, I came for a free Scrum information. So what, what's agile? Or I had agile, I hear Scrum. And I'm a bit confused about that. So that's the whole idea. You're going to come away with some knowledge of, of Agile and Scrum. And then you can use that to determine if this career is for you. Because it's always very good before you take a plunge and invest dollars and time in training. You want to have some information so that you're going into, the, into this career with the awareness of what the opportunities are and what might be the challenges, but it's a fantastic career. I've been in tech for a number of years. So my name is Coach Pam, and I am the founder of Red Lux, and I have over 15 years of experience in technology. Um, in that regard, I've been a release train engineer. So what's a release train engineer? Um, a chief scrum master. So if you think of, um, if you think, think about programs and projects, projects are single projects, Programs are a group of pro of projects, right? So release train engineers are actually program managers in 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 agile, right? So I, I'm kind of like a program manager. I've also functioned as a scrum master, project manager, product owner, business analyst, and even tech support. So I've cut my teeth on the tech and business side. So I really bring that experience to all of my roles because I see it from both sides. I've worked in a lot of industries. My primary industry is financial services. Um, I've also had um, experience in retail, insurance, and not-for-profit organizations. I've worked in startups. I also have experience in cards, acquiring and e-commerce. I do have a lot of experience. Um, and, you know, I one of the things I pride myself is I keep on looking for ways to get more experience, in, uh, you know, because the more, the more variety you do, the better you become, right? 
So that's a bit about myself. And if you are just joining, please don't forget to rep yourself, your city. Let's know where you're joining us from. Rep yourself in the chat. Let's see. Because the last person was Tolu. So if you just joined, rep your city. So um, just more housekeeping stuff before we really get into the main gist of today. I know they are going to have questions, but we're not going to take questions just yet. Um, so I want you, as you know, as we're talking, there are going to be questions that occur to you. So to make it very easy for you, please go to slido.com and enter the code 2694105. Slido will give you um, the option. Once you put that in, it will show you um, a place to put your questions. So some of your questions, um, and then once we get to the, the panel discussion, we will take your questions and answer them. Thank you. All right. So I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to stay here for a bit. But in the chat, you will also get um, uh, someone who's going to drop the slide. We got Stella from Abuja and we got... Um, Emmanuel joining us from Brandon, Manitoba. I hope Manitoba is warm today. Uh, we have great weather here in Ontario, and I hope you guys are also experiencing great weather there in Manitoba. So please go to Slido and put your questions. So today we're going to, like I said, the info session is not a training. Information session, think about, think about, um, Think about uh, before you take the plunge, right? Before you go to decide what you want to do, or you've been hearing about this, you've probably seen adverts about it, you probably have friends, family who are scrum masters, and they're telling you that, oh, it's a great profession, I'm making so much money, right? But sometimes they can't really answer questions that you have about scrum, or maybe they have, and you just don't get it. So today we're going to try to get you, you know, from that 50,000 feet, just bring it down a little. You're still not going to be um, as aware, but you're going to be, I want you to leave with several things. Why this profession is growing, why it continues to grow, and why you want to get in early so that you can have what we call that first mover's advantage, right? Because you get in early, you're able to learn, you're able to get your experience faster, and then you can grow. So those are the outcomes for today. High level understanding of Scrum, the benefits of a Scrum Master role, and how you can become a Scrum Master. What I so mean. let's talk about Agile. When Ooh. developing That's software, good. please, can you go on I mute? Know. You are not talking so that we don't distract other people. Okay. So I've muted all. So Agile is a software development approach, or think of it as a project management approach that is used to deliver small, faster, and more frequent value to customers. What does this really mean at the end of the day? Think about a time back in the day when, you know, phones, if you think about it, it would take like a year or two maybe two years, for phones to change from one look to the next. Like, there used to be so much excitement in the world when mobile phones were being released, right? That was, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago. I'm not sure. Then it took a long time for changes to happen. We think about the big companies like the GEs, the Fords, those, you know, old companies, right? But now... Before you know it, for example, the phone I use probably has three versions. There's the original version, there was a fan edition, and there was something else. And they're the same phone, but just with a little bit more better features, right? Based on the fact that they launch one phone and they're like, oh, this is what people are saying. Let's launch the same phone, but with those added features. How does this happen in the world today? How can companies... How are companies able to respond faster? Because they use a methodology called Agile. The old approach to project management focused on knowing about everything 
ahead of time and then spending months to bring out software, bring out products. Now, in, in that kind of world, it doesn't thrive on innovation because what about if your competitor has brought out something more cutting edge, new, and you're coming to the market with old stuff. So what Agile really promotes is an iterative approach that delivers value in small consumable releases rather than a big bang. Why do they do that? Because it helps companies to respond to change faster. Because if I release something much quicker in a small, in a small increment, what happens? If my if the market changes, like customer needs, customer behavior changes, then I can make a change faster. I can change faster. So that's what Agile is all about. It allows companies to release change more faster in the innovative world that we live in. So what does this really look like? Let's bring let's break it down. So Picture this, we all know this, probably one of the most famous painting in the world, the picture of Mona Lisa, right? So you commission a painter to paint this beautiful picture for you. And basically you say, um, okay, I want a beautiful picture of a woman in a, in a, in a pastoral setting. Now, the painter might go away and paint this from their point of view. And they're not wrong if they do that, right? And let's say it took six months for them to get this painting back to you. And they came back to you with a painting that didn't meet your requirements. They're going to be really upset. So what does Agile do? Agile is literally like this, right? We want this painting. But what I'm going to do as a scrum master, as an Agile professional, I see, it's tell you like, you know, at regular intervals i'm going to be showing you how your project is progressing i'm going to be releasing small pieces of the work so that i'm sure that we're building what you want and not only that and then i can get feedback from you on what needs to change right remember we said that agile is about of small frequent releases that are more responsive to change so think about it if it takes a long time to release if it takes a long time and you've built this complete product and you release it and people don't like it, then you're going to lose more time to fix it. But in this one, the fact is that at the end of six months, so let's think about this, right? Let's say this was, this was month one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Every time the customer, the customer interaction is happening, they're seeing their painting appearing right in front of them and getting better. They can give feedback and they can say, yeah, you're on track or no, you're not on track. Let's make this change. What happens is the customer is happier. The people developing, developers are happier because now they know they are building what, what the customer wants. And at the end of six months, you get a painting that meets the customer requirements. Nobody's upset. Nobody's mad, right? Sounds good. So that's what Agile is. Now let's talk about the trends in Agile. Why is Agile growing? Why is the demand for Agile professionals for Scrum Masters growing? Why? So we'll talk about the reasons why that it's growing and why you should be ready in any shape or form, either taking training or certification, to be able to key into this if, these, if you get that job. The first is Skilled Agile. A lot of us live in North America and know that, you know, we have a lot of big companies, right? So these companies need to stay ahead of their competitors. They need to thrive in a world that is constantly changing. So, for example, there are companies that have hundreds of thousands of employees. Think about the Apples. Think about the Googles. Think about Samsung. Think about the banks in North America. They have hundreds of of thousands of employees, right? Now, how can these companies continue to respond to change frequently we, when they're so, so large and monstrous? If we think about it, think about an elephant. Elephants don't move fast. Dinosaurs don't. You know how we call companies the big dinosaurs, right? That's how 
large companies are. Small companies can move fast because decision making is real quick. Maybe 10 people, 15 people, 30 people, they can have a conversation and move real quick. But in a large organization of thousands of people, change can be a bit slow because of the numbers. However, there's a methodology called um, a framework called Skilled Agile. So Skilled Agile allows companies to ag apply agile practices across large organizations. And because, so, and because these companies have lots of teams that are building, they're constantly building apps, constantly changing websites, constantly updating their products, constantly bringing out new products. How can they all cohesively um, promote changes in a faster, innovative way so that they can stay ahead of their competitors, right? So Scaled Agile is that trend. And Scaled Agile allows teams to deliver value in quarter, what we call PI. So this is not a trend about Scaled Agile, but just to let you know. And so when a company is going to be, is when a company embraces Scaled Agile, what happens? There's suddenly a vacancy for Scrum Masters to come in and take on the jobs. So that's why you see these jobs, every time people are getting jobs at Scrum Masters and it's continuing to grow because more companies are embracing Scaled Agile. So this is the ability to scale Agile across multiple teams within a large scale organization. So the more companies embrace Scaled Agile, the more they need to employ Agile professionals. Whether you're a Scrum Master or a product owner, then there's a job for you. So this is one of the reasons, the trends why the role is growing. The next trend why agility is becoming huge with companies and why Scrum Masters are in demand is what we call business agility. I already touched on this before when I talked about how companies want to stay innovative because they won't want to die. They want to, in, in, in a world that is rapidly changing where innovation is coming out every quarter, every few months, unicorns are cropping up, like people are launching fantastic things. Companies have to be able to respond to change in the market so that they can thrive and don't die off, right? And they need to stay relevant to customers because if you're not relevant to customers, your customers will move on to your competitor, right? So business agility is the ability for cost for, for businesses to outlearn and outperform their competitors, right? And they do this by being agile. And so what they need to do, they need to change their operation, they need to change their thinking, they need to change their strategy to be able to be to, to be able to be more agile. And let's always remember every time a company changes strategy, every time they change their operations to make a change, what happens? New jobs come up. New jobs come up, new ways of working come up. And for a company to be agile, the people who are going to lead those, 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 that, 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 um, that whole strategy are agile professionals like me, like you, if you become one, and you can see that is in, in demand. Think about the world of AI. Everything is being disrupted by second. For anyone who still thinks today that a role in tech, a role in tech, um, uh, they keep on hearing tech, 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 and they're not taking advantage of that. Um, it's never going to be too late, but you know. The faster you do it, the better for you. The faster you do it, the better for you. So don't forget we're sharing the slide though in the chat. So if you have questions, please put that in our slide and we will respond. So now we've talked about agile, we've talked about agility. Now let's talk about Scrum. What is Scrum and how does Scrum relate to Agile? So Agile, like I mentioned, I didn't tell you this is how you're going to be Agile. This is like be respond faster to change. You want to outline your competition. Now, depending on an organization, they can decide how to become Agile. What specific methodology do they want to implement that suits their need? Let's remember, right? The healthcare industry is always going to be different from the financial services industry. The financial services industry is always going to be different from the retail industry. The retail industry is going to be different from the entertainment industry. 
I'm about to give you examples of that, right? So every industry is different and the way they work will be different. And so sometimes they have to figure out what works for us, right? So agile itself is a mindset of how to be innovative, but the specific way of applying agile would of applying agile in specific industries or specific companies will be different. There are so many different agile frameworks there. We have Scrum, which is the most popular one. The second popular one is Kanban. So that's K-A-N-B-A-N. -A -N. We're not discussing that today. We're discussing Scrum, which is the most popular. We also have other frameworks like extreme programming, like less, just to name a few. But like I said, Scrum is one of the most popular in addition to Kanban. And why is Scrum popular? Because Scrum is easy to implement. So we call Scrum a lightweight framework that helps people, teams, and organizations generate value through adaptive solutions for complex problems. Lots of big words there, probably doesn't mean so much, right? But we'll explain that in a bit, right? So think about the light. That's why people become Scrum masters. They learn the framework, they understand the framework, and then they help a company or a team implement it, right? And Scrum works in a particular way. So just to keep it very simple, for Scrum, Scrum itself is a framework that focuses on three roles, doing the work that they're responsible for. So Scrum is usually suited for three to 10, a team of three to 10. So that's why we talked about skilled agile in a company that is big and they won't be agile, hundreds of thousands of people, how can they be agile? In those kind of companies, they set up small Scrum teams that all work together. So your Scrum team can never be more than 10 people. And we do this because if we have to respond to change faster, let's think about it. And please, you can use the chat if you want to. If I was going to like think about the communication between 50 people versus communication between eight people, which one do we think would be faster and better that we're not missing anything? Obviously, the, the communication in the small team, right? So that's why Scrum focuses on small and nimble teams of between three to 10 people so that communication is seamless and this team can deliver value much faster. I'll pause here for that to sink in. Now, for Scrum to work, there's three roles that are required for Scrum. There's other things that are required, but these are the key things. There's a Scrum master who understands Scrum, has mastered Scrum, and will teach the team about how to make Scrum work for them. There's a product owner. So the product owner is the person who understands the product, CEO of the product, and says, this is what I want us to work on. And then there's these cool people here that are called develop developers. You're going to observe that for illustration purposes, these two roles are always going to be one person and developers can be multiple people. That's why it's there, right? A Scrum Master is a single person on a team. A product owner is a single person on a team. And then development team can be up to 10 because the team, um, the team, the team of develop developers are the ones that do the work. So let's go a bit and learn more about this cool thing about Scrum. So the Scrum Master, what do they do? The Scrum Master has learned Scrum and Scrum, while it's a framework for implementing, um, implementing um, software projects, you don't have to have technology experience to be a Scrum Master. Let me repeat that again. You don't have to have technology experience. You don't have to be a coder. You don't have to write code to be a Scrum Master. So the, what are you doing? The Scrum Master is, a, is called a servant leader. So think about leaders. They don't do the actual work to build the software. They are responsible for coaching teams, product owners, and the business on the Scrum process so that they can deliver value. Think about it, right? Anytime, imagine if you had a project or you were going to go on vacation with a group of people. Everybody knows the goal. They know the goal. We're going on vacation. They know where they are going to, right? 
But if we didn't have one or two people who sat down to put bring everyone together, organize stuff, make sure itinerary is done, think about it. How would that trip have gone? So please, any questions you have, put it in the Slido. We're putting it in there because I won't be answering questions in the chat until the very end. I'll just take a look. So your questions should go into the Slido. I won't take it during Q&A, right? So think about it, right? There's always that one person or, uh, or another person who would make sure that, you know, they can coach everybody, make sure that we all know where we're going to. We've got all our all our um, T's crossed and our I's dotted. So think of a scrum master like that. They're not doing the work. They're not going to, they're not the travel agent or anything, but they're like, guys, you know, let's, let's have a conversation. Let's be sure what they were going, when we want to go and all of that. They might be talking to the travel agent who might be doing the actual work or booking the flight, or maybe they go book the flight, who knows, and, and, the hotel, and the hotel, right? But think about it, it's more about coaching and coordination. So they don't have to know technology, they just have to pull the team together in a way that they deliver value towards the goal. Then there is the product owner. Another single person, but they own the product. So when we think of products, so think about your, let's say an example, an example of a software product is your banking app today. It's a, it's a product that is owned by someone um, who is a product owner. They decide who, who are the users, what do the users want, how should it look, what kind of features, where should it be launched, that kind of thing. So that's what their work is. So if we think of them as a CEO of the product. They define the why, the what, the who, and the what of the product being developed. They own the decision of what features the product should contain. Because someone has to say, this is what we want to build and why, right? And so the Scrum Master and the product owner don't need to understand a, a any line of code. There are more people who coach. There are more people who make decisions. And then we have our cool um, I, call, I always call them the men in red. <laughs> See them, like, you know, really cool guys. These are the people that ultimately own the accountability to turn all of the work that we do, that the Scrum team does, into value. So we call development team, they're a collection of people, a self organizing and cross functional group of people equipped with all the skills, roles, necessary to implement the product successfully. So these are the people that need to know what they, they need to have that coding experience, ability to write requirements, ability to test, right? And they're always a group of people because they, has, they do a lot of the heavy lifting. So in a nutshell, that's really what Scrum is, very simply. Obviously, if you have knowledge about Scrum, you'll know that there's more things which are going to watch, which is how does this really all work in real life how does it really look like um in real life when we when when i i go into scrum team all of that i'll talk more about it um we do training and you see what you get out of the training if you decide to sign up for training right so don't forget in slido please put your question so we're going to watch a, a five minute video um before i start let me make sure that I am sharing with my sound. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the video. Wow, it's taking a while to play. Okay. Okay. Suppose you'd like to start a new project. Usually you'd draw up a plan, make a schedule, find a project manager, hold endless meetings, and ultimately just hope you don't stumble before you reach the finish line. But what does that usually deliver? Everything's more expensive than expected. You stress about your deadline. The end result could have been better, and energy has drained from your team. These problems are solved with Scrum. With Scrum, you write fewer plans and you do more. In short cycles, we call sprints. You don't work on separate islands, but as one dedicated team. Instead of working on a project with a distant deadline, 
you constantly deliver functioning products. You don't use final evaluations, but you receive continuous feedback. Scrum is a flexible way of working in a rapidly changing world. It's frequently used in IT projects, so many of the websites you visit or apps you use were made using Scrum. This way of working is used more and more. Scrum was recently used to build a large new bridge, but it can also be used to develop new products, compile budgets and annual reports, organize events in your town, or even to set up a completely new company. How does Scrum work? Let's use the marketing campaign for a new car as an example. In the first week, you take action right away. You share a glimpse of your design through social media. The feedback you receive will be used in week two. You attract media attention, which leads to new feedback for making improvements. We call these weeks sprints, which are actually mini projects that each produce their own specific results. Instead of knowing exactly where you want to end up, you take a step-by-step -step approach as you work towards your final ambition, like the successful launch of a new car. A scrum team has stand-up meetings, works transparently, feels a joint responsibility, is aware of the progress made every day, and has results to celebrate after each sprint. Scrum has three roles. First, the product owner, the key stakeholder with a vision who provides direction to the team for each sprint. Then there are team members, five to nine professionals in various disciplines who are jointly responsible for the results. The Scrum Master, a facilitator who focuses completely on the process. Then there are Scrum Lists, the product backlog in which you list your ambitions and express how you intend to achieve them. The sprint backlog, the shopping list of products you want to produce in the next sprint. The definition of done indicates precisely what needs to be done by the end of the sprint. And the scrum board. This shows all of the team members' tasks, which will change from to do, to busy, to done during a sprint. Then there are four meetings. First, the sprint planning meeting. What exactly are we going to achieve during this sprint and who's doing what? Next, the stand up. Is everything going according to plan and are we gonna make it? The third meeting is the review during which you deliver your results and receive feedback. The last meeting is the retrospective. You look back on the process and reflect on what you can improve as a team for the next sprint. Scrum is a powerful way of working that provides speed and energy. Maybe something for your organization too? Okay, so that's a bit about Scrum. Um, you learn more in when you join training. So let's talk about, the next thing I want to talk about is Okay, you've heard that you can earn six figures as a Scrum Master, um, right? But apart from that, I don't know about other people. I, I get very easily bored after three to five years. I always have to change, right? So I always encourage people, people go into a room and like, oh my God, I got to a career scene and we can't go beyond that. I can't, I can't earn more if I continue on this path and all of that. So one of the things you're going to come away with today is to see how lucrative being a Scrum Master is. You get tired of being a Scrum Master, You've not wasted your time. There's other roles within being an agile professional that you can take. So some of those are here, right? So like I said, multiple roles exist in Scrum apart from the Scrum Master. And based on your years of experience, your skill level and expertise, or even your personal preference for the things you like. Because by the time you become a Scrum Master, you figure out what part of it you like, your personality, and then you can decide what next you need to do. So the growth outlook is very bright. Like this is not a career you get into and you're like, oh my God, like you can stay in this career and resign in this career, retire in this career, I mean, retire in this career and make a lot of money. So Scrum Masters eventually grow into this role, Senior Scrum Master. So yeah, 
you have more responsibility, more teams you're managing, you're earning more. You can also say, oh my God, I love the product side of things and you can become a product owner and product owners earn a lot of money because it takes a lot to be decisive, to determine the direction a product will take because at the end of the day, is a product that pays salaries, right? You can decide to be an agile coach. So think about it while the scrum master coaches their team Agile coaches kind of like, they, they, they sit, sit more at the enterprise. So they see across the organization. They understand where the organization is trying to go with Scrum. They understand they understand best practice because they've been in the role for years. And so they can advise, advise both the company and both teams about how to embrace Scrum. So these people are not Scrum masters. They don't get involved in the day-to-day -day delivery of the software. Think of them like coaches just like a football coach, like any coach, professional coach would do. They don't play, um, they, they don't play, they coach, right? The other one is release train engineer. Like I mentioned, I'm a release train engineer. And so what do release train engineers do? Remember we talked about working in an organization that has tens of thousands of employees or hundreds of thousands, and they use skilled agile. So in skilled agile, it's a higher implementation of agile it's not looking at single teams, it's looking at multiple teams. So in a skilled agile, agile team, I oversee 13 scrum teams. So I don't personally, each of those teams have their own scrum masters. So think of me as a chief um, scrum master. I do like, I am, I'm more seen at doing more program level events. That So I'm managing like risk and dependencies for those teams and making sure that they're delivering value while they're actual scrum masters in those 13 teams, right? So you can grow into that. You can also grow into a solution train engineer. Solution train engineers are also one level higher than release train engineers. They are usually, so if we, if we have a release train engineer for a, a collection of agile release trains, we'll have um, the solution train engineer sitting at the portfolio level, right? So there'll be one single person who might be overseeing several agile release trains. So you probably see a solution training engineer interacting more with maybe two to three release train engineers that are in their team. Apart from that, if you say like, you know what, I'm, I don't want to be part of day-to-day -day delivery. I want to be part of creating the framework for my organization, right? So you're working on, in, a, in a, an organization that is structured. Those companies will have, I, I, I don't want to call them policies because policies sounds a bit serious, but think let's use policies. Before a company will implement Agile, they'll need to create like documentation, create like how do we want to implement this this is how we want to do things so that it's uniform and people are not struggling so with years of experience you can then take a step back from active day-to-day -day working on on delivery of products and be more on the think of a policy side framework side so you're kind of your your work is super important in this role because the work you do will determine how successful Scrum would be in your organization because you're creating documentation policy based on your years of experience and creating best practices for the organization to follow in implementing Scrum. And then we also have team lead roles. So we can think of this like practice leads, people manager. So you can become a people leader that other Scrum masters in reporting to. So as a Scrum master, I have to have a manager that I talk to, right? I talk to I talk to um, um, those scrum masters, right? I'm sorry, I, I I must have a manager that I talk to, right? So as a scrum as a as a scrum master with years of experience, you can go into a role where there's like 20, 15, five scrum masters that are reporting to you, and you're helping them with their career growth, helping them to remove any risk or any issues that they have, right? And finally, you can continue to do this and become an executive. So yeah, you're the executive that the whole agile practice reports into right so there's a large career the career growth is endless here so now that you've seen that you know it's a great career um you can grow these are examples of some people who've transitioned to scrum so the reason why we're putting this for example is because people reach out to me and tell me oh I, I'm, i've been unemployed i've been a stay-at-home mom or i've been in entertainment or I've been an entrepreneur for my all my life, but I just wanted to get in tech. Do you think I can make it? And I say, you can absolutely do anything that you put your mind to doing. Why? Let me give you an example, right? Nobody was ever born a Scrum Master. So period, I learned Scrum, right? 
I was fortunate. I've been in technology. I've been in teams where they, they were doing Scrum. I learned Scrum. Um, I went for training. I learned Scrum. And fast forward, years after, I've grown and I'm training people. So when people tell me that, I'm like, listen, you can do anything you you put your mind to. Will it be difficult? Yes. Will it be challenging? For sure. But I'm going to be here to make sure that you succeed, right? And so we've had people in manufacturing, people who are in pharmacy, engineers, bankers, oil and gas, homemakers, marketers, any people, people, people have people from all walks of life. Just an example of different roles that have transitioned to it. So this is not an exhaustive list, but it shows you that no matter what, accountants have done it. You can transition. And then um, let's look at what does the industry outlook look at, look like? So why should we care? Some of the, the vacancies that we're seeing, daily job vacancies, 5K in, in Canada and um, 11K in the US. I always like to tell a story behind numbers because people come to me and say, oh my God, the Canadian numbers are smaller than the US numbers. I'm like, of course, if you understand statistics, you should expect that. Um, I don't know what the current population of the US is, well, at least it's about 300 million. And Canada is 30, about 30 something million. That's about 10%. The whole population of Canada is about 10%, right? Of, of what we see in the US. So, and they have half the number. So if you're asking me, in my opinion, there are more jobs in Canada per person looking for Scrum Master jobs than in the US. There's more Scrum Master jobs in the US, but think about the population of people chasing those same jobs. And when we look at that, there's half of the numbers in Canada for a population 10% of its size, you have a higher chance of becoming a Scrum Master in Canada than in the US. So I always talk about like, look at numbers and really crunch them. Don't just look at numbers and just interpret them based on what you see look at what's behind there right and then, and again there's more companies there so obviously you're going to see more more numbers there right so 10 percent um population and there's half of the jobs i think for me that's a good deal right you can work remotely 100 percent. i work remotely um i haven't been to the office in what three weeks i may i may try to go next week but you can work remotely. so if you're someone who's tired of the 95 where you're always taking the train always in your car in winter, summer, fall, you almost seem like you cannot catch a break. This is a career for you. You will work remote. Salary, entry level salary. I kid you not. So entry level, never done scrum, is 90K. And when I say 90K, I'm saying that because that's what they're going to offer you, even though they know that maybe you, it's it. And it's like maybe a two, like you have, maybe it was a role that said, oh, we want someone that has one to two years of experience. 90K. But if you are good, even with little experience and you negotiate well, you are seeing minimum 100K, 110. I'm telling you this thing because I coach people and I see their offers every day. So 90K is you're new to the job and you didn't negotiate well, but you can get 100, 110 as a new scrum master. And then as you get more experience, you're looking at 120, 140, 150, and then you change your roles to all the other roles I shared. And so this salary, this salary range I saw on Indeed, Indeed is what I put here, it's team 90 to 148, but the salary get higher as you grow. So I'll tell you, I'll give an example. Um, as a senior agile coach, uh, someone once reached out to me and the selling salary was 170k and you hadn't negotiated because they need you to have some kind of experience level and some certifications, right? So you get progressively more higher. So this is the role for one for a scrum master between 90 to 148. Also, you have the ability to work in lucrative tech field. So it gives you mobility. There's no, you, it's giving you mobility in tech. You know that tech is, tech you earn a lot of money. So you want to get into that, 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 that space. And the good thing about this is that this is one role that you don't need any coding experience, whatever, no prior technology experience. You don't need to know how to write a single word 
of code. So that's one good thing about being a scrum master. You don't need to be a technology person to get into this role. And finally, job satisfaction. I really love the fact that as a scrum master, I help companies succeed. So when I see the fantastic products and services, products and services that my team is bringing out, it really gives me that whole motivation to do more, right? Because we're seeing things work and you don't work on weekends. So, you know, I can't stand working on Saturdays and stuff like that. You're not working late hours. Five o'clock is five o'clock, you close. Weekends, you're at home, chilling with your kids, chilling with your family, your significant other, having from your friends, going places, or just, you know, doing chores, whatever you want to do on a weekend. You don't have to work on a weekend. So that's the benefit of being a scrum master. So how do you become a scrum master? Now that you've seen how cool it is, you know, is it the, is it the, the best career in the world? I mean, there's more careers in the world that probably pay more. But think about this. This is something that is very easy to get in, in six weeks and you're ready to hit the ground running to start applying. Right? So the first thing is, you know, what we offer. We offer a two-step approach, very simplified approach. You take our, you enroll in our Scrum Master training program. We have two training programs. We have the six-week program, which we call the Power Up Training. What does that training do? You'll see on the next slide. It's our most practical training. We're not just telling you the theory. You're going to get your hands dirty. You're going to use all the tools. You're going to be facilitating all the Scrum events. You're going to be a Scrum Master. You're going to wear the hat of a Scrum Master. Then we have our second training, the Accelerator Training. We call that the Boot Camp Training. So it's a four-day program. Also gives you information about being Scrum, uh, being scrum Master. There's people, people who like to do this are people who are like executives, people who don't have time. And they're like, you know what? I just don't have time to do six weeks of training. I just want to do this training, get my certification and take my chances at applying for jobs and getting. And that's absolutely fine. Everybody's situation is different. Some people have been in technology and they feel like, oh, I don't need to do a training program. I just can do the four day program to pass my exam and they can do it. Right. But our best training is a six weeks program, because if you are new to this, you do a practical training. And what happens is that when you're going for the interview, some of my students have said, you're not giving fictitious answers or made up answers because you actually did a sprint planning. You did a real project. We're going to give you a project that you're going to come out at the end of the project and do a presentation. And then when you're done with the, the training, you can then take the Scrum Master certification. So, um, oops. So this is what a six week training looks like. Um, um, you have access to training videos. We're going to give you access to training videos. You will have practical hands-on training. So I'll be there personally supervised as a, as a, as a coach. You're going to be using all the tools that Scrum teams use, real life, Jira, Confluence, and Miro. You're going to learn all of that. So that when you get the job, you're not struggling and looking at the thing blankly, right? You have access to our Scrum Master community on WhatsApp. So after training, you're not going to be, it's not going to be like, oh, bye. Go figure it out yourself. We have a, a strong community where people are sharing jobs, sharing ideas, and generally can reach out to people to as your as, as depending on where you are in your journey and they can help you, right? You get two free templates. I keep on saying it's two free templates, but there's more templates that we've designed, right? You get a checklist from me that I've personally curated so that if for any reason you get a job and I'm not available to talk to you, like on your day one on the job, I can talk to you later, but you can it has what do you do in your first one month as a scrum master? Clear actionable steps that I have created. The next is a, a, another toolkit that is an I think it's a 10-page document I've created. It helps you to thrive on the job in your first three months. So let's say you, you start your job as a scrum master. It's simply everything I teach you, I've condensed it, is a quick reference that I have access to. Then you have post-training support. We do your review, your resume review, and help you with interview prep until you're confident, right? And today I have a special discount for folks, right? So training is two thousand dollars, but valid. So it's not valid for today only. It's twenty four hours, so you can use it between um, today and Monday. I'm going to extend the discount. So valid if you if you sign up for training between now between today tomorrow, 
you will get $700 off with this code REDLOOKS35, which we'll share in the comment section. So this is our lowest discount ever. If you miss this discount, what you have next for joining training is the REDLOOKS20. Um, it's a 20% discount. So you're getting that training. Instead of paying $2,000, you're paying $1,600. 1600 and this discount code is valid for two weeks so if you miss it today i'll recommend though that if you really know that you're going to take this training you should get the discount um today because that will give you all of these all of this at this price 1300 and we'll still share the code we'll still share the code afterwards so that's for our six week training now what what does our four day training look like for the training, you have access to Scrum, the, 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 the training videos. So we'll share all our training videos. You also have access to the Scrum Master community um, and you have access to post-training support. So the cool thing about being in training programs like this that are not run by big companies that you have, you have, you have closer access to your trainer, right? Which is fantastic. And the same discount codes are applicable. So this training, the four-day training is offered for $600. If you sign up for the training using this code today, rather than paying $600, you're getting your training for $690 guaranteed, right? If you're not able to take the, that, if you're not able for any reason to sign up immediately, we have a code that is available for two weeks. So between now and the end of the month where you get 20% off and you pay for your training for $480. So if you have any questions, don't forget, you know, hold the thought, put it in the Slido. Um, and I'll answer it. So don't forget, you have a special discount that you can get to get your training for less. And this training, like I said, is value packed. You get to use all the tools. So that's for the six week program. Six week program will give you tools, but the, the four day program is four days boot camp. You're able to go write your exam. And the pass mark, the pass rate for our exams is 100%. So um, we're getting to um, the interesting time where I, the coach will stop talking so that I don't monopolize the conversation. I want everyone to go into Slido right now. So go to slido.com and in, slide, in, 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 the, in, um, in slido.com, enter that code because I'll be introducing my panel in a short while, right? And then we'll go to Slido to um, take your questions. So go to slide.com, I'll hold that screen for um, a bit. Okay, so I, without much ado, I want to introduce my fantastic panel. I'm so excited that they're here. Uh, please, Raquel and JJ, if you're here, please show your beautiful faces, ladies. Is it beautiful? Let me check. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good I afternoon, everyone. I love that sense of humor. JJ, are you there? JJ's there. Yeah. Oh, wait. Well, she was there before. All right. So thank you. So Raquel, can I see your face? Like, can you see me? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can see you now. I, thank yeah. You. So okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So before we go ahead and start, these are my beautiful, um, fantastic Scrum Masters. Um, amazing ladies. I'm so inspired by their journey. They continue to inspire me. Um, even though they, I tell them all the time they don't believe it, but they continue to inspire me in their journeys. So I'm going to let um, JJ, JJ, please just quick introduction about what you do um, for now, like, you know, what you do, um, you know, currently what you've done in the past. Then I'll let Raquel introduce herself as well. And then the next question I'm going to ask you is, you know, talk about your, and then I'll and then ask you a question about talking about your journey, about how you became a Scrum Master. So quick introduction. You can go ahead, JJ. We can't hear you. Uh, we lost her. So, did we lose JJ? Uh, okay, Raquel? 
Raquel, can you hear me? Okay. Um, can you quickly introduce yourself? Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, I can hear you now, JJ. Okay. Okay. So it's probably when I had the camera on. Maybe something okay. happened with the tone. Okay. So I won't have the camera. So my name is Janice Jobody, but everybody calls me JJ. I've worked in the financial industry for 14 years. Um, prior to being a Scrum Master, I worked as a project analyst at one of the big five banks, in the same place where Pamela is right now, as well as a project manager. And now I work as a Scrum Master. So as a Scrum Master, I support three teams. I work for the finance team, the data office team, and the privacy masking. And as a Scrum Master, I work as a servant leader. I help to deliver value after each iteration, as well as I help to help them remove any impediments. I facilitate all the Scrum ceremonies, as well as I help to make sure the stakeholders are happy, delivering all the status reports, as well as helping with the delivery plan and helping to remove any roadblocks. And so far as a Scrum Master, I absolutely love my job. I'm guilty. I don't even like taking vacations. I love my teams. I love supporting them. I love when we go into production. It is the most fun role I've ever had. So that's a little bit about myself. Awesome. Thank you. So Raquel, you next. We can't seem to hear you. I think you probably had the same issue. Maybe if she goes off camera, just go back in. Can you take off your camera? Yeah, take off your camera and it'd be Can you smooth. Try now? I actually logged out and logged back in. Okay. And then I went in without my camera. No, no. not the muffly. Mom. Um, try logging in and logging oh, back. Yeah, or also I'll, I'll join you from. Or try to join from your phone. Okay, so while we're waiting for Raquel, like Raquel, once you get back and your audio is good, then we can do the introduction. But what I'll do is, so guys, I think a lot of people have been, you know, putting stuff in the polls. I love that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I wouldn't have to. But so what you're going to do for me, if you go into Slido, uh, I want to show you the screen that you would see so that you know where to put your questions um i'll show you a screen so can you guys see. hear me now oh, yeah, we can. Yes, absolutely we can. welcome back thanks i don't know what what's wrong can you guys can you yeah. can yeah, you guys can see you. me yes i can see you see and hear me yes perfectly uh, so before you before you start Corkel, so guys if you go in you're going to see when you go in you're going to see q a and poll just put your questions in the in the Q and A. Don't go to the poll. The poll is more of um, where we want to ask you feedback. Um, but, but I'll, I'll, I think I'll anyway. Just put it there. We'll we'll, we'll go through it. <laughs> put your questions or your question anywhere. We'll definitely get to it. Yeah, Raquel, please go ahead. Yeah. So hi, <laughs> my name is Raquel. I am uh, from Brazil. Have been in Canada for eleven, twelve years. In different industries, I started in the food industry and then went to fashion industry and now in the financial industry. Um, before, well, my first my first job I was operations manager. Then I transitioned to projects and became project manager for several years. And then I found that. We've lost you again. I'm having issues hearing her. Yeah, we've lost you again. I think maybe join on your phone. I think we yeah. can. We, I, I would love to. I'm sure everyone would love to have seen your faces. But, you know, if you can join on the phone, you can click on the link I sent you in the phone and maybe join. Okay. And mute this one. Yeah. yeah so now, now you're lost. I'm, no, now I we back? can hear you. Now we can hear you. <laughs> maybe where, did your... I, where did I stop? Where did you, you guys? You talked about, uh, about your transition uh, okay. to project and then. Okay, yeah. So then I, I transitioned into projects and left to operations. 
And then I, I learned about Agile and, uh, and Scrum and I fell in love with Scrum. And then I was like, okay, I need to become a Scrum Master. Like, I, I love that. And so I did everything I could. And now I'm a Scrum Master in a finance industry as awesome. well. And I have two teams. Awesome. 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 Amazing. Okay. So, Raquel, because you're the last person that spoke, can you just tell us, like, briefly, like, in, you know, two minutes or less, how your journey to Scrum was? Uh, like, you know, how did you really make that transition? Was it, you know, from, from I know you did fashion, manufacturing, and all of that. How was that your transition? What are the steps that you took to transition? Let's just talk about your journey so that others can learn from you. Yeah. C can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, when I found out about Scrum, I wish I knew the Red Lux before. <laughs> I wish I had all this program and training before. Um, so you guys are lucky that you have this opportunity. We will make your life easier. But um, so yeah, I um, when I was working as a project manager in the fashion industry, we we had it was so complex to develop those type of products and uh, the company itself they were new in project management and they didn't know anything about agile and anything else so i started uh, understanding what agile was and then when i learned about scrum and i was like okay we need to implement uh, the scrum uh, framework here so we were gonna make uh, have more uh, better outcome here so um, I started learning and studying and getting to certification. And then when we start, when I started implementing Scrum in that company, the COVID came and I lost that job. I was like, okay, uh, uh, what am I going to do now? So I was like, okay, that's actually an opportunity because now I really want to look for a Scrum master role and not a project manager, a project manager role. So um, I got uh, I got certifications like I'm certified Scrum Master and I went to got like the Discipline Agile Scrum Master certification as well. And then I learned like a lot of companies were hiring, um, all the banks in Canada were hiring. And then I applied for the job and I got my first role as a Scrum Master, like a junior, right? So um, then when I met Pam, thanks, she saved my life because again once the other thing is like being like uh, hands-on on like using jira and confluence and facilitating ceremonies uh the theory is easy right but uh when you don't really do it it kind of get anxious and then pam helped me a lot she kind of i i was i had the opportunity to shadow her and you know saved this problem and she coached me um and uh now i i'm a senior scrum master at the the company where i work at and uh, i run uh, the scrum master community of interest and i for sure like if it wasn't if i didn't know pam my my life would be very hard but uh, <laughs> i was very fortunate to, to meet her in my journey and then it made it very, every, everything easier. Thank you so much, Pam. Oh, my God. You're far too kind. Thank you. I'm going to move over to, to Janice. But before we go, remind me, how long did it take you to get promoted? To one master? year. After uh, I, I yeah. coached you. One year. around. Well, less than one year. Maybe let's say 10 months. Good. True story. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is a true story. <laughs> true story. And I also in the hub that negotiate her raise too. When she's like, oh, they're offering me this. Like everything, I'm like, no, hold out for more because speak about that. This is your <laughs> opportunity now. Like, it's not gonna happen, it might not happen soon. Like, let's make sure we get we get everything that we want from that. From from that, it's just like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, this is what you should be looking at. Mm -hmm. And you know, awesome, JJ, my friend. Yeah, so talk friend. about your journey too. Sure, I have a journey, and you're part of it. And I, before I tell my journey, I actually want to thank you for all the help you've given me. You are like my lifeline, and you know this. <laughs> so I first started as a project analyst at one of the big five banks, and you know how project analyst work goes. And then I transitioned to a PM role, and then I took a bit of a break. And I kind of was like, you know what? I, I'm not satisfied. And I had a mentor, I think was also your mentor at the time, and he's like, 
So let's try agile. And I'm like, what's this agile? What is this? So I actually had the liberty of, I'm very lucky. I got the training. And let me tell you, um, it was foreign at first. I was like, some of these concepts are a little different to understand. But, you know, I was one of the ones that got the resume. I wrote it out, got it reviewed. Pamela, I asked questions. I'm like, how do you do sprint planning? How do you do these things? Pamela is always there to answer your questions. I had to do 11 interviews. I got 11 no's, but one one yes. And that's all you need is one yes. And when that company said, yes, we'll take you in, I was like, I told Pamela how much is getting paid. She's like, JJ, you can get better. <laughs> you know, and I negotiated my pay and stuff like that. But um, I, I work in this field and, you know, I'm going to let you know, it's one of the things I love about Pamela is she gives you on the job support. So not only is she going to coach you to understand what Agile is, teach you about the ceremonies, teach you about estimating, teaching you what you need to know about the job. She gives you on the job support because when you get on that job, Everything is happening live. This is when the real learning begins. And this is the fun time, you know, because you get to sit back and be like, okay, what I learned, you know, you can, the thing about Agile, even if you have different teams, it's always different. It looks different. I have three teams. I have one team I had to build from scratch. Yeah, and you have to have different start. strategies, right? And we had to different come up with strategies. Like strategies for each of them. Yeah, different strategies. I have one team I built from scratch. They loved me to pieces. They were like, we never did any of these things before. And I have one team that was super mature where you sit back and you're like, this is a gift. Mature teams are gifts, but still you have to like tweak them. And then I had a team that kind of was doing their own agile called water gel. And I had to come in there and put them on a good path. And, you know, and again, as I'm doing it, Pam was there. She's I'm calling her. Pam, you know, the ceremony, I think I could do better. And she will sit there and listen and give you great advice. So I honestly, I've been doing this for a while, like a good year and a half. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I I have tears in my the, eyes. I, I'm surprised it. nobody's asking you, like, where do you work? Like, can you say, did, yeah, are they hiring I love masters? it. I love I'm, I'm, yeah. Someone's going to ask you that question real soon. I can tell, yeah, like, I'm do you want to tell me your company? Because I want to work there, right? I so love thanks, my company. I, I love it. I love my boss. I love everything. It's a prayer that got answered. I have no, I love it. Like, I literally, thanks, ladies. I, yeah, yeah, I love it. I, I love the feedback. Thank you for sharing like your, you know, how your journey, you know, and I like how you said I, I did 11 interviews and I just needed one. Yes. Right. So that people know we're not trying to sell and say like, hey, what the like once I train you, you're out of the door and you get a job on day one. You could. It, it, you it's could. possible. And mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I would like to share my story, like moving to Canada. I'll tell you, I didn't apply for more than three weeks. I got a job, the mm -hmm. job I wanted. In three weeks of applying when I moved to the country, everyone's story is different. Um, and you know, like it's 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 all the process. Like some people are going to get the job quicker, some will get it um later. It doesn't matter. Guess what? I'll mm -hmm. tell you something before we take questions. I used to coach someone, she came, she was a BA, and I mm -hmm. coached her for a year. Like she didn't get a job. I don't know how patient I was with her, but I did it because I always tell people, like, the way I coach is there's a why I coach and I can't coach more than a month or two because. The, I don't like the energy uh, or mm -hmm. they're not like taking they're, they're not improving right so who I can coach obviously she, they're not I'm not coaching them every single day or every single week but they reach out to me and I'm able to guide them and it took her a year and trust me she was even experienced it took her a year to get the her first product owner job we went through the process she started to interview again can mm -hmm. you imagine that I helped her negotiate a salary more than mine <laughs> like she asked what did I do too I'm like I'm like okay you know, mm -hmm. I'm like, hmm, but, but that's how it is. Right. Cause it's not about, cause now here, yeah, it's not about like, we're going to like, help you negotiate. Like, Oh, you're coming until you're earning, you know, like a lot of money. We're like, no, you don't deserve it. No. Like, this is about what do you deserve? Like even JJ knows that like we had a conversation yesterday about really? something that had to do with like next time you're going to be like, don't, don't say that your bonus is great. Like, no, I, like <laughs> go negotiate more for, for like your, when, when you're going to get your pay. So this is kind of like what we bring here. Right. So let's go to the questions. Please let me know that you're still, still seeing my screen. 
So the first question is, what do what certification do you need to be an agile coach? We're going to open it up because we have such a small group today. I usually have about 70 people on the call, but today is small. So when we go through this, if you, we can make it interactive, I can let, we can raise up your hand if you have more questions and then we can mm -hmm. take that before we wrap up, right? So what certification do you need to be an agile coach? So I'm going to pause here. I'm going to take this because I'm an agile coach too. So to become an agile coach, you can reach out to me, but the certification is called, uh, I'm going to put it, it's called the ICP ACC. Um, ICP dash A dash ACC. Um, that's the certification um, that you need to, to take agile coaching exam. And if you, if you want to take the exam, reach out to me. I'll, re I'll recommend a good, um, Company, I don't, I don't train agile coaches um, at all. Um, mm -hmm. I can recommend someone that's going to coach you on agile coaching, right? So let's mm -hmm. take the next question. Can you get a job before certification? I mean, I have my thoughts on this, but I'm going to let um, JJ and Raquel share their thoughts. Did you yeah. all, um, JJ, did you have certification before you got the job? Um, I actually had a certification. I had my PNP. I had my Scrum Master certification and my advanced project management certification. I, I personally had a certification. However, there's people I work with that don't have a certification. So they kind of just, you know, some people get lucky to get appointed and they just work in the field. But I would recommend having that certification because at least you have that knowledge piece. Thank I have you. seen Scrum Masters get hired and they don't have the knowledge piece and they tap me on the shoulder like, JJ, I need help. I've, you know, I'm not sure how to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm losing, like, I don't even do the daily standups anymore. You know, I just pass along. So, yeah, I've seen, yeah, I have been tapped. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it, it, cause sometimes people assume it's easy. They look at it like, oh, they don't do anything, but there's an art form to this. So I would highly recommend getting the certification, getting the knowledge piece, getting training. And like Pamela offers a training, the training is it definitely makes a big difference for the quality that you bring and how fast you can move ahead. Yeah. So awesome. Thank you. I recommend the training and certification. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Do you have training? Do you have the um, certification before you got the job? Yeah. I was actually thinking about that, that question. If you can, can you be a scrum master before you be became certified? When I got the job, I had, uh, I am PMP, uh, I, I had CSM at the ASM. And uh, to be honest, uh, I, 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 I believe that the reason why they selected my resume was based on my experience and my certification. If you're new in the role, I actually highly recommend you to get training and certification to give you more confidence uh, during the interview. But I think if you're already working a company for, I don't know, several years, um, maybe you're a project analyst, uh, you're not certified yet, and this company that you work at has a Scrum Masters, uh, maybe you can get promoted to be a Scrum Master if you show like all the skills that Scrum Master need, like strong communication, facilitation, leadership skills, and then get a certification um, while you are being transitioning to that position. But if you don't work in a company that don't have a Scrum Master position and you want to get your uh, your foot in that role, I also I recommend you to get a certification before. It's going to be harder for you to get a, a job so, without any certification. You've heard, you've heard from them, from the two of them. So I'm going to tell you, it's scenario based. And basically, they've said the same thing, right? If you are looking for the job new from outside an organization, trust me, you want to be the most qualified person in the room. I always tell people, why do you want, it's like, it's, 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 it's kind of like, why do you want to go for something that is so important that is going to impact your life? Like impact the quality of your life and not go with your best foot forward. I would say like, don't think like that. You need certification simply because you want to be the most qualified you want to be you want to be the most qualified person in the room i want people to think when you are applying for a job don't think like a job seeker think like a hiring manager sometimes ask yourself yeah. truthfully would i hire me if the answer is yes 
go do the work. Don't don't do that. Like that's why we see people saying, "I've been applying for a year and I'm not getting a job." Like don't think like a job seeker. The only time you think like a job seeker is when you're trying to make sure that they give you a good offer. But when you're going to like I was I was I was I want to share something. That I was I was like I was um coaching someone yesterday night and you know I was like, "Oh, talk to me." And I, and I was like, "Listen, if you go into um um a um an interview, you think like a salesman, and I don't kid you, like I do that. Most of my friends say like, um, but I'm pretty sure you just go there and sell yourself. Think like a salesperson, you're going to make a sale, right? So think about if I'm going to make a sale, I want to be the most qualified person applying for the job. So you definitely need a certification if you want to, if you want to get the job. Now, if you are transitioning to scrum within an organization where you work, you might be fortunate. People know how good you are. They know your work ethic and you want to get a scrum master role and you could go and interview and they ask about you and they're like, oh, she's fantastic or he's fantastic. Yeah, give him an opportunity. You can get the job without without certification. But I'll still advise you as a scrum master. Scrum is one of those fields where the certification really matters. Whether, whether, whether you got the job without certification, you definitely need it because the next job you're going to get, they're going to be looking at for that certification. So get the certification. Mm -hmm. Thanks, ladies. So the other question someone had is, what certification do you need to be a safe agile coach? So I'm going to recommend two certifications for someone who wants to be a safe agile coach. But the person who's asking the question, I would think that the person has enough knowledge about Scrum to ask this question. But just in case you don't, two certifications, you still get the ICPACC because whether you're a safe coach or not, um doesn't matter coaching is coaching enterprise coaching is coaching get the icp acc and then i recommend you go get this um spc so spc is uh called safe program consultant pretty expensive um training i think it's about three thousand dollars usd us it's not canadian so do the math that's about four thousand canadian um dollars but at least when you pay for that training, you spend about four thousand Hmm. Um, sorry for that's 3,900 Canadian right at 900 so that's what that that would that training would cost you um because you should know it's a big deal but the good thing about having safe um the good thing about having safe is that that safe certification is that you're gonna get you're gonna end dollars they're not gonna they're not gonna be cheap when they're pricing you like trust me I've gone for those interviews and the salary looks good right <laughs> Um, what, what you know, when I'm in the mood to chill, I'll go for that job, right? So, can you? So, what aspect of scrum certification do I need to for putting collaborations and partnerships to work mm -hmm. adequately? Okay, that's a very loaded question. Okay, um, guys, I'm just gonna let you guys, um, uh, uh, JJ, what certification do you have? I think you said CSM or is it PSM? Uh, CSM, okay, mm -hmm. and Raquel, yeah. what do you have? Yeah, CSM and okay. DASM. And DASM, that discipline and, agile. Yeah, I am I have discipline agile scrum master, and I recently got my safe uh, advanced scrum master. Safe. Good. Safe. Good. So, so basically, you need to get the certification you need for scrum. Is you can either get the certified scrum master that's offered by Scrum Alliance, or you get the professional scrum. For social scrum master that's offered by scrum.org, those two certifications are amazing. They'll get you the job every single time, right? So we just have only five questions, but let me go to the the I think someone put a question in the Q in the QA. So if you in the in the active poll, so please if you don't mind, if you if you if you you can still put your questions or I will let I'll make it an open session so you can ask questions. Uh someone, I'm just gonna say, do you help with a job? So I don't find jobs for people. If that's what you're asking, we're not an agency. What do we do? We help you become more successful at landing a job by interview prep, having a great resume. So that's how we help um, you get a job. I'll, I'll respond to that question in the chat shortly. Is Scrum only used for IT areas or would it be used for other industries? Raquel, tell me, what are your thoughts about this? Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I like that question. Um, it, it's Scrum, you, you can work with Scrum with any kind of project. Um, it can be either like 
a large project or a small project, it can be complicated, it can be in IT, it can be not IT. Um, it, it, what Scrum does, it, it can... He lost, uh, I hope he comes back soon. No worries. Oh, can right. you can you hear yeah, me? Can hear you now. I can hear you now. Oh, oh my God! Well, I don't know what's going on. Uh, what I was saying, um, yes, uh, the Scrum uh, can help um, any kind of any team, any non-software team to adopt like customer collaboration over I don't know contract negotiation. Um, it, it encourages interaction between um the team and, and the end user right um that uh, end up improving the project execution so um many different uh, industries like uh you know construction or like fashion industry that i had the opportunity to work at food industry um uh is not only it awesome thank you jj your time Absolutely, um, it could be used outside of the IT. Um, there's a new area that's booming, and I actually went for interviews on this one, and this is a good one to look at because a lot of people don't even associate Scrum with it. Marketing. What area? Sorry, I missed that. Marketing. 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 Oh. Marketing campaigns is a big one. A lot of companies, you know, you've seen it. They're putting out commercials or putting out like a new credit card. They actually have a marketing campaign that actually they'll go through discovery. Go. They actually use Scrum to implement an actual campaign to go live. So that's exactly. how they, yeah. Exactly. And that's actually a very, very unique one. I've applied, I got interviews for that one. So, because it's like, people don't even know that Scrum can be applied to that because everyone assumes it's IT. And with that, there's no IT, you're dealing with brand leads, you're dealing with people that, the team is a little bit different kind of composition because they're not necessarily IT and um, developers or analysts. It's actually people that are working on creating a, a commercial or committing an actual campaign. So, yes, Excellent. absolutely. Yeah. So what, what I'll tell the person I'll say is, I would, I would phrase this more different. I'll say, is, can Agile, is Agile only used for IT areas, right? Because Scrum is the most popular, right? There's always so many different ways of implementing Scrum. So as much as possible, what teams do or what professionals do is to say what specific framework would apply. So obviously you've been trained as a Scrum master, so you understand Scrum and Agile, and you can also implement Kanban, right? So Kanban is another way of implementing Agile, right? And like you're right, um, JJ, okay. I mean, I mean, for the first time in my life, I'm working on with teams that are purely business so of course it, there's some technology being done but the technology is done outside of my teams it's purely mm -hmm. business and then we have specific teams that do marketing campaigns and yeah. they, they they do agile they actually build their campaigns um mm -hmm. in an agile fashion so yes you can um you can use that please go to the q a please guys and tell us uh, we'll appreciate your feedback about the event um and what aspects of the of the of the event that you liked and if you're not able to get into the poll for whatever reason you can't put in the chat so we really value your feedback so that we can continue to bring the things that work um let me see questions here so uh scrum masters always recruited by the it department most of the times yes i'll just keep down mm -hmm. i'll say yes most of the times it's technology that would would higher um um uh, scrum masters but you need to understand that the way we used to think of it you know years back 20 30 40 years back it's changed like you know like there's none there's none there's none how like like not coding it right mm -hmm. like scrum masters are that scrum masters are like that think about qas qas don't do any code they they test bas and bs is also work in it right so let me address this question. In the six-week hands-on class, do you have developers in the team and do you develop a real-life project? So in the six-week class, um, what we do is, it's called a practice simulation. So you're going to be, think of Scrum. Scrum doesn't have anything to, like when you're working in Scrum, the Scrum, so your, your role is not about developing code, right? So what we do during that part is that, some of the people in the class will be developers and product owners. They try, what, what, what you're trying to learn that's most important for you as a Scrum Master is how can you facilitate the Scrum events? 
right? You're not letting coding or anything. So what you're really focused on, how can you learn how to facilitate? How can you learn how to use those tools? You're going to be using that. So some people in the team, someone will take the role of a product owner. Someone will take the team of the role of a developer, right? And then we go through that process. And yes, they do develop a real life project and um, product. We keep it simple. We make it a website because that's the easiest thing that you can do in one month. If we give you real apps to develop, you're going to be on this training for a long time. And besides, that's not what, what people came to the training for. They didn't come to learn the design of technology, right? So as much as possible, yes, we do have role playing. You get to be either a product owner, a scrum master, a developer, and you will build a real life product. And all our scrum master... Our Scrum Master portfolio is actually live and browsable on the internet. So um, I think that was a repetition of the question. Let me scroll down and see what we have. Okay, so I think that that's all the questions that we have. So I'm just going to be, um, we're going to be wrapping up soon. So I'm just going to, if you have any additional questions, you can raise your hands up and then we can take that. If you have any additional questions. Any additional questions from folks on the call? We could just take that um, and then move on. So guys, uh, please uh, please share the Slido again. Can you please go to, when you go into Slido, click on, on the poll, please. Um, we have um, 24 people on the call. And we only have um, one feedback. Please, guys, uh, it would be great if you can, um, if you can show, if you can um, give us feedback on the training. I would really greatly appreciate it. It's It will mean the world to us. So I'm going to show you what you should be looking out for just in case um just in case people can't get around the 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 so if you go into slido you're going to see two things right there's the q a is where you put your quick q a which is where you put the questions when you go in there you might say please click on polls and then type your answer thank you so go to polls and then let us know how you found this session. It would be fantastic. All right, so let's just continue on. If you have any questions, don't forget to um, let us know. And so please, um, if you want to join our Scrum Master community, um, my assistant is going to send, please send the, the, the not the alumni group, send the WhatsApp link, please, to join the WhatsApp, to join the WhatsApp community um, before we close. So um, we already talked about this. I'm going to do a quick um, a quick recap for you. Uh, we're going to watch a video so that you see all of the things that you're going to learn in the training if you sign up. Our next training is coming up in September. So this is going to be our final training of the year. So if you know that you want to become a Scrum Master by the end of the year, take it because the next training will be in January. So our next training would be on from, from October to um, – from September to October, that's going to be the training. So let me play this small, this nice video for you all. So this is what you would learn when you sign up for our training. For Scrum Master training that prepares you for real world experience, then you've come to the right place. You'll learn all the skills you need to go from newbie to agile expert without breaking a sweat, so you can secure a rewarding Scrum Master role and feel like a pro, all in six weeks. Here's how it works. The four-day training takes you through the principles of the Scrum Guide, Scrum Roles, Scrum Events and Artifacts, and deep dive into backlog management, user stories, setting up Scrum teams and Scrum metrics. Next comes a one-month period where you'll experience a scrum practice simulation on a real project. 
During this time you will act as a scrum master and facilitate all scrum events, including daily scrum, sprint planning, sprint review, sprint retrospective and backlog refinement to help cement your understanding of the scrum guide. Best of all, you get to use the real software tools like Jira, Confluence, Retrospective and Estimation tools that Scrum teams use. You will be supported by an Agile coach who will guide you on Scrum best practices throughout your learning process. All classes are virtual. So, if you are ready to begin your learning process and kickstart a successful tech career in Scrum, why not go to our website and register for your preferred training program and we will see you in class. Okay, so there it is. So just to share the code again. So if you are signed up for the training, we have a 24 hour discount where you um, get $700 off your training. So instead of paying $2,000, you're paying $1,300 and that's for the practical session. And this is all the things that you get, right? And so let me, you know, we're going to send an email as well to everybody so that you can um, go in and use the code. So this code is only valid by the end of tomorrow. It will be gone. But if you miss that between now and the end of the month, you have a, a two week discount code where you get training for 1600. And so um, training starts in September and we will are excited. We we'll, are excited. I can't wait to see you in class. Let me see. Okay, thank you so much to our fantastic panel. Thanks, Raquel and JJ. Um, we really loved having you and hearing from your experience and, you know, wish you all the best in your career. It's Your career is really growing and it's amazing. So we know that um, the best is, is, is the best. You're going to be doing fantastic um, things in the future. Awesome. So join us. Yeah, thank you. So if you, the person that asked the, the question, you can stay back. Other people can drop off. So we've come to the end. I want to thank you for staying throughout the session. Thank you. Okay, so Emmanuel, um, Emmanuel, uh, will send you. So, if so, if you're using the discount code today, so that's at thirteen hundred, right? The thirteen hundred, um, is an instant payment because that's why we're giving thirteen hundred. So we're guaranteeing thirteen hundred. You're getting seven hundred dollars off. If you want to do instrumental payment, which is you want to do instrumental payment and use the code, um, the twenty percent off, which is sixteen hundred between now and um two weeks so what we do is you pay you have to pay up front within the two weeks and then by the third week of your class the balance is due so 60 percent is uh, applicable up front and then the balance of four of 40 percent is payable three weeks into your training i hope that addresses your question but of course you can still reach out to us directly if you have more questions you can contact us here Anybody else have questions about payment? Okay. Thank you so much for joining and thanks to those who have um, who have uh, put in questions in Slido. Let's see what we have. Thanks to those. Who have put questions in Slido. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a great Saturday. So feel free to join our WhatsApp group. So Stella, can Stella, are you there? Can you can you can you ask this question clearly? Because I'm trying. We we told you what certification that you, you did. So what do you mean by the certification category for collaboration and partnership? Maybe a bit of context will help. Basic certification to start is is PSM CSM. So professional okay. scrum master 
and the certified scrum master, right? So one of them, okay. right? Okay. And, okay. and like I mentioned, so what our training, so we you can either choose between the 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 two day train the four the four day training, okay, or, or the six week training. So the four day training okay. is obviously more affordable, but what you're getting, you're okay. not going to get. We're not going to do interview prep. We're not going to do your resume. So okay. if you register today, if you register mm. today for the four day training, you're paying mm. three hundred and ninety dollars instead of paying okay. six hundred bucks. Yeah. Okay. If you, if you're going to pay in two weeks time, it's four hundred and eighty dollars for the for okay. the four day training. And sorry, four day training. Okay. Yeah, for the four day okay. training. Four day While training. the six week training gets you job ready. Job ready. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. I'll I'll um, connect you to the WhatsApp group. So I'll, okay, and yeah, reach out. Okay. Yes, thank I'll, you. More I'll share more more thank details you. there. All right, awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. What okay. about Stella? Stella, are you still there? I'm the one responding. Oh, oh okay, okay, it's you. Okay, good. <laughs> so Stella yeah, responding. all right. Okay. okay, great. Thanks. So okay. question right. again is: Someone said, "Do I do mentorship?" Yes, we do okay. mentorship. If you join the WhatsApp group, um, I'm going to share, I'm going to share my Instagram page if you're not following me and my okay. email, you know, I'll send a link. Feel free okay. to book a one-on-one -on -one with me. I do 30 minutes one-on-one -on -one, and we can have okay. a, a conversation if you want to move forward. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. All right. So someone says, is it is the training is it tr live training and how many hours a day good question so the training is a live training which means like you're joining from anywhere in the world on on zoom so we offer it through zoom and we have people joining from like sometimes like in fact my current class because we have a class that's going on now they're going to be exiting their training next week the six week class and i have people from i'm managing four time zones there we have people um in the u.s we have someone in nigeria we've got people in the in um um yeah u.s two people in canada who are in different time zones and nigeria and the uk right in that class so yes it's a live training one how many hours a day so the first what we do is the first two weeks we're going to do all of the theory we're going to get out of the way and we do that on weekends, um, Saturday to Sunday, four hours each. So you're going to get 16 hours of theoretical training and over 45 hours of practical training. So my practical training is Monday to Friday in the evenings. And you're spending a minimum of one and a half hours most times. So we're going to be doing sprint planning, daily startup. So some days you're going to spend one, an hour and a half doing practical. Some days you're going to have 30 minutes. It all depends. Why is it live training? Okay. Okay. All right. So please, uh, yeah, I'll send you a note and everybody, you can reach out and book some time with me if you have more questions. All right, everyone. Have a good day. I will stop sharing okay. now and end the call. Okay. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thanks, JJ. Thanks, Raquel. You guys are fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, guys.